What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's Paul. And Mike. And this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Visit our website and click on their ad for a chance to win a free banquet. Homecoming at Wilson High School, and they know how to do it up. Well, they've been doing it for a few years, Paul, and even the field, a nice, fresh paint job. And the big red bus. Now it's a party. Uh, but back to football. The Panthers looking to put the Bruins in the no flex zone. <laughs> the crowd was lit, and the Bruins were hyped coming out of the locker room. But do you know how to sil silence a rowdy crowd, Mike? I do. If it were me, I'd go to quarterback Chris Loa Isaga and... Have him chuck it to Christian <laughs> Weems, a 43-yard pitch and catch. And obviously that's going to take the air out of the Bruins' sails, at least for a moment. But back-to-back -back penalties puts, push the Panthers back toward the 50-yard line. And Thomas Pridey makes a big play to force a big Jordan punt to get the offense on the field. Second play from scrimmage here, Mike. Now you see me. No, you don't. Jacoby Hardy gets into the open space, and he is gone 70 yards to the crib. That'll get the crowd back into it, 6 nothing, Wilson. Jacoby's got to tell Samaje Parker to stay out of your way when he's <laughs> ripping off a 70-yard touchdown. And then this happened so fast, I think Paul almost I, missed I it. I almost missed it. Next offensive play for the Panthers, Samaje Parker scoops and scores from 30 yards out. Big-time playmakers showing out early in the big game, 14 nothing, Wilson. Jordan trying to get that ground-and-pound offense going. They've got a two-headed monster with Isaiah Clark. Uh, he got a heavy workload for sure. And William Satulua, baby Satulua. This is one big bad dude that is very difficult to bring down. But the Bruin D bent, but they didn't break. Friday and the defense got stops when they needed to and gave the offense a chance to stretch the lead. Tanner, then, Tanner Frost didn't have to do too much tonight, Mike, but uh, he was able to get the ball out to his playmakers. DeJour Smith, what's the soup of the day? It's DeJour Smith. He goes <laughs> up and gets that one. To the house, no, he steps out of bounds, but Hardy has your back. The track star probably would have taken this one 400 meters, but he'll stop in the end zone. 21-0 Bruins in the second quarter. And then every time uh, Jacoby Hardy touches the ball, you just got to make sure your camera is ready to go because this is just a simple swing pass. A little shake and then bait. And he'll do the rest. <laughs> he had 12 carries for 151 yards and this 56-yard touchdown reception. He is lightning in a bottle, and they've been unleashing him. Great job by Ziggy and the crew to make sure their playmakers got the ball. And I was just tired just looking at him. Look at him. He looks like he needs a nap. I feel like I need a nap. I feel you, Jacoby. Next drive for the Panthers. Fourth down, halfback pass. Playmakers make plays. Samaje Parker, another one. Another turnover he created. He had two fumble recoveries and an, intercept, and an interception. And that was all in the first half. And when you're going to make plays like that, please reward the man. Frost flips it out to Parker on a screen pass. He trots into the end zone. Wilson up 36-0 at the end of the first half. That's obviously a nice way to bounce back for Wilson, coming off that loss to Polly, making a real statement in front of a big homecoming crowd. And then in the third quarter, Jordan looking to get some points on the board, but that Wilson defense made big play after big play, a big stop on fourth down there to preserve the shutout. And Wilson puts it away on the next drive. A lot of track speed on this team. Ian Issa shows his breakaway speed. And I love this here, Mike. I love when big men celebrate. The lineman all fired up. He hasn't even reached the end zone. He's all pumped. It's the world's slowest 100-yard relay among the offensive linemen. Wilson puts up a half century and gets back on track in the Moore League. They've got a big game next week against Lakewood on the road, while Jordan will be facing Cabrillo. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Papalucci's, a great place to eat on 2nd Street. Stay with us. Football fans, this is GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram, and we'll have all your high school football action.